Today is October 15th, 2024, 6 p.m. I would like to call the regular Planning Commission meeting to order. May I have a roll, please? Mr. Howard? Here. Mr. Stapleton? Here. Mr. Rodehaver? Yes. Here. Has everyone read over the minutes from the last meeting, please? Any changes or anything? No. So approved. Commission has copies of the August 20, 2024 Planning Commission meeting minutes. Um, no corrections were made, sorry. Went over that already, didn't we? Uh, new business, uh, TA-01-2024 presentation. Um, Martina, you're giving the presentation, I take it?
I have questions. You, mean, so you just stated September of last year. Is it September of last year? Next year. Okay. I just want to clarify. Uh, one point of correction on your staff recommendation. Um, it is actually no longer a Schedule 1 controlled substance. It's a Schedule 3 controlled substance now. I heard, yeah, I heard it was, uh, they were considering that, and I think that happened. It did pass. Yeah, and I already. Now. I think they dropped it down. They did. Yeah. I'm sorry. They recognized that it has medical uses and yeah. decriminalized it federally. Yeah. Question on use definition can we get a little bit more clarification on use medical marijuana use in the city of moraine i mean so you're just so this is just covering the cultivation and the sales through dispensaries correct but not the actual use of And, and the same as uh, what they technically say is that adult use, um, it's, since it has passed, is it still illegal for recreational use? I'm playing the devil's advocate here. <laughs> because it was kind of it was a little vague when you were talking about use no, no it's okay yeah. Mr. Soros, you have a presentation as well, sir. Thank you, Ms. Dillon. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Ms. Dillon, for your presentation and everything. Uh, so my presentation is based off the Technical Review Committee, which consists of uh, City Manager Mike Davis, uh, myself, Nick Suri, City Planner, Doug Hatcher, Fire Inspector, Lauren Alvarado, city engineer, uh, Brent Carpenter, building and zoning administrator, and Beth Waters, permit secretary. So our staff report for this um, indicates that proper legal notices were presented throughout the city facilities, Dayton Daily News, and the city of Moraine website per Moraine Charter 7.1 and Moraine Codified Ordinances 1127. The Technical Review Committee does not have any objections to the proposed staff report presented by Law Director Martina Dillon. As medical marijuana facilities are not permitted within the city limits, 
This would follow in line with the complete prohibition of marijuana facilities, sales, cultivation, and any sort of permitting throughout all city zoning districts. With the city of Moraine being heavily industrial, we also look at issues of employers and drug use here in the city, uh, especially those that work with heavy machinery, heavy machinery and the use uh, with uh, CDL drivers, especially in the city. Um, and as an additional note, uh, just going back off what Martina mentioned earlier, per the ORC, uh, you are still permitted to grow up to six plants per person per residence where two adult users res reside with a cap of 12, and that's ORC 3780.29 home grow rule. And then uh, we did have a report from our uh, police chief, Craig Richardson, I wanted to read to you as well uh, before we get into any other questions or anything like that. Uh, so Chief Richardson did say uh, that he is opposed to the sale of marijuana dispensaries and sales within the city limits of Moraine. Simply using historical public safety related statistics from states that have passed recreational use laws, and there has been an increased use of marijuanas, marijuana that leads to increased contacts with law enforcement and criminal justice system, which is further taxing criminal justice resources. Legalization of marijuana sales does not decrease related violent crime or organized crime. On the contrary, a new organized criminal enterprise has sprung up, undercutting legal marijuana prices and circumventing regulation and taxing. Rec recreational use of marijuana has led to an increase of emergency room visits, a 30% per increase and hospitalizations, a 200% increase. Mm -hmm. Increased access to legal marijuana has led to a 500% increase in accidental overdoses of children ages nine and younger and has led to su substantial increase of adult emergency room visits for anxiety attacks or psychotic-like symptoms from eating sweets infused with more marijuana than they were expecting. Marijuana intoxication traffic deaths rose 62% in some of these areas. From a public safety standpoint, I believe he did state that a permanent ban on marijuana dispensaries would be very beneficial for the Moraine community. If there are any questions or any additional comments, uh, we'd be more than glad to help answer or uh, discuss. Thank you. Do we have a source for any of the statistics that are stated in there, or is it just? Uh, that's based off Chief Richardson's, uh, from what he gathers through his police data and from local jurisdictions throughout the state. Um, he does travel and meet with other police chiefs and such, so uh, that's where a lot of his data does come from. Um, so. I would be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that there's nobody in the gallery I'm wondering why we can't hear from the community a little bit more. I understand that there's been a lot of research done on this. Um, there was an overwhelming vote, and I, again, I'm playing the devil's advocate. Yeah, I totally understand. Um, I have to look at both sides. Right. Um, there was an overwhelming response to vote yes for recreational use. I would like to hear more from the community <laughs> so the community should have a lot of say so in this as well right um even as a planning commission, we are servants of our community, just like you're servants of the community as well. Um, it's a, it's, this thing is a catch-22, and it could be, be a powder keg, because there's going to be a lot of opposition, there's going to be a lot of pros to it. I, I would like to see a little bit more data and feedback before we make a decision. Now, now, Mr. Redhaber, are you referring to like a um, having a 
like if the citizens were to vote or something like that on it or have some sort of advertisement that would well notify them directly here's the thing we're living in the city of moraine and you're going to get an overwhelming response to uh have a thousand dispensaries in the city of moraine right just so it's convenient for those that do use I've lived here most of my life, I know. <laughs> it's not a secret. Um, what? I know that the crimes are going to continue, and I know they've risen because of all this. Recreational thing is, I I personally uh, don't agree with it. Medical, yes. Recreational, no. But that's just one man's opinion. Right. Um, Martini, you have something? Yeah, you? if you want to. Um... And I guess, too, Martina, while well, I have you over here. With us following the proper procedures based off of the city charter and the marine codified ordinances of notice, mm -hmm. technically we are not violating any sort of law or anything in this case. Uh, this is the proper text amendment procedure and everything to move forward with such right, an yeah, amendment to be proposed to yeah, planning commission. The notice, yeah, yep. looks the like notice was given, however, it was not clearly advertised. This is what it was. Take a look at it. I do think there's there's no question in the law and what the law states. Law is very just clear. Just know that there's empty seats. Prohibit the cultivation. Law is very clear. And uh, they're there for a reason. Well, just to add on to that, I did, I did put in the legal notice that the agenda for this planning commission case is to amend the marine codified ordinances to prohibit the cultivation, processing, testing, and retail dispensing of marijuana for the purpose of adult use in all zoning districts of the city of Moraine. And that's what's in your packets. That's on page five. So that's what went to the Dayton Daily News city website and the um, I think they were referring city to the actual agenda. Facilities. I think they were referring to the actual agenda of the. Yes, actually yeah. attending the meeting to voice their opinion on. Like the main page of the agenda, that's what you're referring to? Yeah, on the, okay. on the, pa yeah, on the agenda. Okay. Yeah. I mean, do you have anything else to add to that, Martina? No, or? I was just going to follow up <coughs> yeah. on what I handed. Uh, Mr. Rodehaver and the other members. So basically what I did was I pulled the election results from the November election from last year and because uh, I wanted to see how Moraine, what the Moraine votes were specifically. And so I tallied it up there and I believe my, I double checked my figures a couple time, times and it looks like the vote for yes on issue two was 1002, or excuse me, 1012. And the vote no was 497. So I think I just wanted to provide that information because I think that goes to what Mr. Rodehaver was saying as to getting some kind of information. I'm not saying you couldn't put something on the website and seek feedback from citizens and see if you get some kind of feedback that way. I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. If you want additional information to see if you can get some feedback, I you know I'm sure Mr. Soros could work to do that, or if there's some other way. Um, I mean, town halls, you could have a town hall and see if anybody shows up to voice their opinion about it. But I at least wanted to provide this information that I did pull off the uh, Montgomery County Board of Elections website. And, and thank you for that. Sure. Um, yeah, the question is not the legality of this or, or anything of that sort. I just think that there needs to be a little bit more feedback. Um, from the citizens? From the citizens, I do. Um, I'm not trying to be difficult. I no, I mean, no. Like I said, that's why I wanted to mention, or one of the reasons I wanted to mention, there's a, the moratorium is until September of next year. Correct. So it's not like there's a specific time crunch. Right. Uh, we just didn't want to wait until the last minute to bring this to you. Right. And so now, you know, if, if you want to see if you can get more feedback, then we've got plenty of time to do that. 
uh, rather than rushing through with something. I, that's, I have no objection to that at all. Okay. Yeah, um, <clears throat> gentlemen? Gentlemen? Yeah, we could just uh, table it, vote to table it, and then we could get some feedback and then bring it back at a later date. I'd like to make a motion to table this until such time that the community has voiced their opinion on this matter. Second that. Would you like uh, Would you like us to to work on perhaps getting something on the website or social media at would town hall or something? I'm just trying to figure out our, our Facebook media. page, Facebook. Moraine Facebook page, um, media. I would like to see more of a town meeting. Okay. Um, just get the feedback, um, whether it be right, wrong, or indifferent. Yeah. No, I, um, I see. Yeah. You know, it's to help guide you make your decision. You'd like to see if there's some citizens that would like to give their input one way or the other. Yeah, is what it sounds like. My opinion, and gentlemen sitting with me, Kevin and Caleb, uh, they have their opinion. I would like to hear more opinion from the people. Yep. It, it, it makes better sense to me mm -hmm. to hear from the voters than to just make a decision for the voters. Yep. Yeah, because the I mean, I gave you the numbers. The vote tells you how they voted. It doesn't really tell you why they voted the way they voted. So I think that's, it sounds like to me that's what you're trying to figure out yep. without putting words in your mouth. Yes. Okay. I mean, again, you know, my, my opinion is mine. <laughs> and we all know what they say about opinions, but we won't go there. But, yeah, I just think that I would have a clear conscience. If you um, have more information. Prior to voting. Yep. Or pass it through and then they get community backlash. And then you get, yeah, you hear from people, why did you do that? You know, mm -hmm. why didn't we have a chance to, oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to overwhelm the uh, city manager's office and, and or Mr. <laughs> Suarez's office. Or, or your office, Brent. Yeah, part of our job. <laughs> well, you know, if we can divert a disaster, that'd be great. Yep. So, <laughs> yes, Mr. Uh, uh, Chairman Rodriguez, I just wanted to mention that I think. Could you please come up for the record, please, sir? Thank you, Mr. Davis. You're welcome. I would add, I think the direction would be a community meeting, as you alluded to, possibly not social media. I think it would be a very uh, significant challenge to be able to determine who was a Moraine resident and who wasn't if those are the voices that you're wanting to hear. If it's through social media, that could present some uh, challenges for IT I, and others in being able to determine. To clarify, I simply meant that the meeting was posted on social media. Oh, yes, media. okay, so absolutely. So that people would be notified okay. about it, right. not that. Yeah, that's, that, I mean, that sounds great. I just wanted to make sure we weren't leading down a, a direction where we'd be seeking survey responses or something through a social media no. or some other platform. I think an in-person uh, meeting where yes. folks oh, could come exactly. in and share and, and learn and understand and maybe even really clarify some of the answers that you had, which is this isn't necessarily use, it's the cultivation and sell of it right. as well. And I think that uh, that clarification would go a long way. Great. So, yeah, thank, thank you. Thanks, sir. Wow, one quick thing. Yes, sir. Mr. So I get so I guess with getting this out, I work for you. Uh, what would be a good um, you know time frame you you would want to look at for you know residents to be notified up until we would have another meeting for this specific item? As long as the. the <clears throat> As long as it's advertised and possibly get a response. I know on Facebook you can put a little survey, yes, I'll attend, no, I won't. You can invite, you know, people. I don't know, I don't want to overwhelm uh, our uh, IT department at all either. Um, but um, a month. Maybe. Okay. And, and if there was a post like that, it, it would be my phone number and email. And we, we've done that before for things, so that is no issue at all. I have, I'm very comfortable with people reaching out to me about information for 
this specific meeting and such, or if someone would like to leave comments or anything like that. Um, that's what we do with BZA and Planning Commission both, so I have no problem, you know, if I need to take down those comments or anything like that from people well, as that, well, so. I was gonna say, if you had put it, like we were saying, put it on the, the Moraine page on Facebook, I think you should be able to turn off the comments where people can have all of that riffraff on there. Yeah. And just give them the opportunity to show up or not show up. Yeah, and a lot of times those posts do get uh, shared with the community page as well that I'm sure you're all on as well. So um, that, I know that definitely helps get the word out as well um, and people will be able to know about it. Uh, but we could, uh, depending upon your situation of tabling this, we can uh, certainly uh, get this for next month or so, if that works with you. Yeah. Um, if we were to go ahead and get a post out immediately. So. Well, that's, quarterly that. that's, that's quarterly now. Yeah, it's quarterly. quarterly. Yeah, because we, we, we just have to give, for anything planning commission, we just have to give a 10-day notice, but for something like this and our discussion here, we can get something out, you know, obviously as soon as this week or next week to where there's enough time for them to see it and word gets out and everything and for citizens to be able to give their input and everything, so. That is something that you're comfortable with. Um, I can get to work on that. Yeah, I, I mean, I think we need to hear uh, valid. <laughs> I'll use that word. Valid arguments. Okay. On this, this, um, um, like I said, there's there's way too much involved in this that I just can't make a decision right now. Right. Totally understand. So. Mr. Carpenter, um, do you what? What is your? I, I'd like to hear from you, sir. All right. If I may. Sure. On this issue. I agree with you guys wholeheartedly. We need to have a lot more of the input from the citizens. So I agree with the Planning Commission. Thanks, sir. Yep. We currently have a motion on the table for to table this issue to uh, an undetermined date in the future. We have a motion and a second. May I have a roll, please? Mr. Stapleton? Mr. Howard? Aye. Mr. Rodehaver? Aye. Mr. Source, is there any other business, sir? I do not know. Thank you. Planning Commission is hereby adjourned at 6.31 p.m. Tuesday, October 15, 2024. <laughs>